Okay, so this video is going to be an introduction video to texture atlasing, which is essentially a method of UV wrapping that's fast, efficient, easy, and very friendly towards beginner beginners. And um, I prefer this method because a lot of my models are flat shaded, and I find that texture atlasing is extremely efficient and easy, especially for low poly flat shaded uh, characters. This technique is originally by Minions Art on Twitter, so I will link that in the description, but I wanted to show how to adapt that Maya strategy towards a more Blender-friendly interface. All right, so let's dive right in. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is hide the armature, and I am going to delete all this extra things. I don't need those. Okay, so I'm going to open up the UV image editor. Um, okay, and so then, on the side with my model, I'm going to go into edit mode and select the whole thing by double clicking A. I'm going to go to U and Smart UV Project. I'm going to press OK. And you're going to notice there are going to be a ton of little shapes. Um, it's going to look kind of crazy, but for the moment it's going to be fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to create the texture atlas for this, which essentially means we're going to create a grid of squares with all of this hex data on it. And I'm going to show you how I do that. So the, thing, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the material itself. We're going to find a fuse, which can be hidden under these menus. We're going to click this box. We're going to go to hex. We're going to press control C, control C to uh, copy that hex value. We're going to go into Photoshop. We're going to make a new document. And it can be as small as 300 by 300, can be even smaller. I think 300 is a good number. So I'm going to make myself a teeny tiny little document. And the beauty of this method is it can be almost as tiny as you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on a new layer by clicking the new, new layer icon. I'm going to create a square. I'm going to get my paint bucket tool. I'm going to go into the color picker. I'm going to paste that hex value. And then I'm going to just drop that in with a paint bucket. And the hotkey for the paint bucket is G, by the way. Okay, so now we're going to do that with the next one. And you'll want to keep these colors aligned so you can easily associate them later. So there's the second one, the hex, second hex value. I'm going to go into the color picker, paste it. I'm going to press G for the paint bucket. And I'm going to paste that color in. Okay, we're going to do, I'm going to show you that one last time. Material 3. I'm going to uh, click to fuse, hex, copy that. And then I'm going to paste it into the color picker, G. And so, now I'm going to speed up the rest of it so I can get through this kind of quickly. Now that we've got our atlas, I'm just going to make it even smaller by getting rid of some of this white space. <clears throat> and you'll see that we've got our entire texture atlas in a very, very small file. So I'm just going to save that. Okay, and now we're going to go back into Blender. We're going to go back into edit mode. We're going to press open. We're going to find the texture atlas. And then here's where the big work starts. So what we're going to do, there's two methods of doing this. You can either select the material name and you can press shift G material. And this is an edit mode, and it selects all of the faces with that material. So you can just, in, this, in the UV editor, shrink them down and pop them right into place. Or what you can do um, is you can press A to make sure you're not selecting anything, find the material, press select, and you can have Blender find the material for you. And you can double click A to select all of those faces and shrink them down into the palette that they belong in. Um, I especially like this method because you can have like 100 materials and it can still be an extremely small file size, so you don't have any limitations that way. And uh, it's just an extremely efficient way. This is a 300 by 300 JPEG image, so that's extremely small. Um, I'm gonna do the rest of these and I will speed the video up so you guys can see what it looks like when I'm done.
<clears throat> all right, so when you're all done with that, you should be able to go into texture and it will look identical. And so you're gonna wanna check over your model, make sure that everything is looking good. If you get a square that is the wrong color, for instance, like that, what you're gonna wanna do is go down here and click this square with the two dots and the mouse cursor. You're gonna wanna find where that is and you'll say, oh, that's just in the wrong one. So you just scoot it over. And I think that I selected everything. This looks like it might be the wrong color. So I'm gonna move those to here. Looks about right. And I think that's everything. Okay, so now what we just did is we compiled all of the different colors and materials into one texture atlas image. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to save, first of all, and then I'm going to go into edit mode and I'm going to get rid of all of my materials. All except one. And, and then I'm gonna go into the texture tab. I'm gonna go new. I'm gonna press open. I'm gonna open the texture atlas. And then you'll see if you go back to the material tab that your material has turned into the texture itself. So now when you switch between the two, they should look the same. And you're almost done at this point. The final thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're probably gonna to wanna to export this somewhere. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to File, Export, FBX. You're gonna name it. You're gonna export FBX. And then you're gonna go into Unity and I did this previously just to test it. So I will show you how to do it. What you're gonna do is you're gonna find your file, drag it in. You're gonna find your texture atlas and drag it in as well. And then you're gonna drag in your character. And then you're gonna drag on the texture atlas UV map and it will work perfectly. So if you have any tune shaders or anything else, you can merely go into this texture atlas and apply those shaders right here. So that is my entire method. It's very clean, it's super efficient. You could use even a smaller file size if you want, but um, this should work for you. Hope you enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments if there's anything you'd like to see and that'll be all. See ya.